Finally, Dennis Norden was a brilliant scriptwriter who gave some of our most famous comics some of their funniest lines. But when they occasionally messed up, it gave him an even better idea. He persuaded them to let him show them in his own programme. And the rest is history. It'll be all right on the night became a popular fixture on British television for decades. His death at the age of 96 draws down the curtain on the career of a witty, civilised and much-loved man. Ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Norden. <laughs> it was a simple enough concept. Mistakes made by people on television are funny. But combined with Dennis Norden as a presenter and writer, a TV institution was born. And welcome again to It'll Be All Right on the Night, gateway to cock-up country. A scotch and ginger, yes. I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> Talent? I see more of that in the Woolpack karaoke night. <laughs> It was very much his creation. Dennis Norden chose the clips as well as writing his scripts, eventually persuading news organisations to give up their outtakes too. It will be three to four years of intensive research before the mystery bug is even identified. This cow will be put down... <laughs> Pam Royal, bringing an elegant new dimension to the word gobsmacked. Dennis Norden was born in East London and after serving in the RAF began writing radio shows, teaming up with Frank Muir to become one of the most successful writing duos in British broadcasting history. For his peers and friends, he was an extraordinary presence. When I think of Dennis, I automatically smile. I see this tall, charming, somewhat languid character, but with a great sense of humour. And such charm and courtesy. He felt at ease with him immediately. He was a lovely, lovely man. What are the most common reasons why some bits of film never make it to the screen? Well, in creating a format in 1977, copied no the world over, he also made famous those Dry he featured. The regional news reporter on this clip still gets teased today. You want the adulation for something you've covered involving something else. Uh, but here was I being the, uh, the centre of attention and getting quite a big ribbing too. <laughs> this is where we leave it. Dennis Norden never regarded himself as a TV personality, but as first and foremost a writer, a gentle, funny man with a voice full of warmth and humour. The great Dennis Norton, who has died. And there's going to be a special tribute programme on him tonight, right after the news where you are. But before we go, we've saved you one last clip. Just to show, as well as the blunders of others, he could laugh at his own role in an industry he served so well. Thank you for staying with us for what everyone must have gathered by now was laughter file number four. But bearing in mind that, as with golf and sex, you always reckon you can do better next time. We are already, as that unconvincing bustle in the background indicates, <laughs> filling up the files for number five. Meantime, we'll see ourselves out with one of those sting-in-the-tail moments. <laughs> <laughs> the master. From all of us, a very good night to you. Bye-bye.